Here is a reminder to anyone who is planning on doing a room addition where you have a gable roof truss sitting over a wall that you're planning on either removing or modifying. And the short version is that you will need something underneath the gable truss. It is not the same as the trusses that will be supported at the end of the walls. A gable truss is going to be supported throughout the wall framing. It's going to need something underneath it or underneath any sections that you're going to remove. So if you're going to put a door in here, just make sure that you have a header and of course something to support that section. And this seems to be a mistake that is made by a variety of different people. Otherwise, I wouldn't be making the video. So you can remove the truss and install new trusses that would be designed similar to the old ones so that the roof and the ceiling would match. And you can see here where the old wall was and where the new trusses have been installed. So this situation right here will not work, or should I say it could end up sagging over time or damaging the drywall or plastered ceiling. However, supporting it with a beam shouldn't be a problem. And I say that something like this might require a structural footing at each end. And if that's the case, you might want to go back to installing either a conventional roof rafter system with ceiling joist or new trusses designed to work for your project.